Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a reading under the name maybe for you. The rest of the readings are in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Check them out if you want. Each reading is a different story about a different situation. Keep in mind this is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you and energy could be vice versa. I'm gonna tell you a short story and you decide who is who in this story. Now as you know, I'm sorry if I, every time in this reading, I keep repeating myself, but this is for the new people here. Usually I shuffle the cards till I get a jumping card that will present the relationship situation. But usually I put my intentions on the cards first. So these jumping cards are not what I was, what I am looking for. I will read these three cards. There is a lot of love here. I will re read these cards now, then put my intentions and start the reading. Maybe the reading has something to do with the story. Somebody here, I don't know if this is you or someone attached to you, an energy you are connected to. There is a lot of love in here. Somebody very mature, loving from the deep of their heart, caring. And they are really, really... This King of Cups eyes captured my eyes today. There is a, like, a very deep, big, strong love. Somebody who is really wanting to hold you, to give you whatever, to tell you about how they feel, but they're stopping themselves because they think that it's not a good idea to open up that big from the beginning you are the wish fulfillment for this king of cups and i believe they will start with this knight of cups there is a new situation here maybe it maybe this story is not very new in your life but the action will be new this individual stayed for a very long time attracted to you in love actually with you but they didn't do any gesture from their side. I believe the time has come and this king took the decision that they want to extend that cup of love towards someone. Now, I don't know if this is you wanting to extend your cup of love to somebody. You hold back for, for a very long time, loving them in silence, or this is somebody in love with you thinking that you are their wish fulfillment and the time has come for that cup to be extended to your side. Let's see, my dear. I will put my intentions on the reading and start shuffling. Okay. Let's start. The jumping card will present the relationship situation. The nine of swords and the eight of swords on the bottom of the deck. Somebody is really, really trapped in their mind about this situation. So for the time being, till now, before opening the other cards, I don't know if this is something negative or positive. Maybe this is a problem, a pain in the heart. Somebody is not sleeping, trapped. They don't know what to do. And sometimes this is love. Somebody wanting to do something towards this love, but they don't know what to do. These two cards are telling me right now that this individual is trapped in their mind. They don't know what they have to do. I feel the energy of that kind of King of Cups in here. Somebody wanting something, but they don't know how to get that something in their life. They feel that they have, that they are like, These are all swords. They are trapped in their mind, afraid 
of opening up or telling what they want to tell. You know, sometimes if we will stay for a long time dreaming about something or hoping for love, feeling the attraction and the passion towards somebody in front of us, but we don't act towards that individual. Day after day, we start built a dream. If we will go for a long time building that dream, when we'll come to the reality of it's time to extend that offer or try something in reality about this story, that will be very scary because you are living your daydream with this individual now opening up in reality or asking them in reality, maybe it will destroy this dream that was part of your life for a very long time. And I believe this is what this individual is feeling right now. They were wishing, hoping for this relationship with this individual, dreaming about it, building castles about that beautiful life that they will live with this individual. Now extending this cup will cut core with a dream. Maybe they will say yes, and your dream will come true. And maybe they will say no, and you will lose the dream. I believe this is what this individual is feeling. This is the fear inside them. They are afraid to lose the dream because they stayed dreaming for a long time. And this is the mistake sometimes that we fell in. When, when you let time pass by, Without acting, we start to build the illusion about the individual in front of us. Maybe this is not the reality of them. This is your ideal person. You put everything beautiful in them and you forget about anything bad. And in reality, if you will, if we will think logically about the situation, the individual that we are in love with is not really the individual in front of us. Let's see. Three cards for you, three cards for the energy that you're dealing with and one outcome. This is the energy that you're dealing with. Death. The Empress. The Ace of Swords. I believe this individual is in love with you if this is your situation. And this is you. Seven of Swords, six of, uh, I mean, seven of one, sorry, six of Pentacles and the eight of Pentacles. This, I will take an outcome. Then we'll start. Now, I want you to pick your side. I don't know which one is you. This, this, the seven of wands or death card. But if you are the one who is in love with someone and not opening up towards them, this is your side. If you are the one that feels love towards somebody, but they are defensive and they are not trying to come closer to you from a long time, this is your side. Somebody is very defensive about letting the other energy in. That doesn't mean that they are not in love. They are. I feel the story about the King of Cups is this story. This Seven of Wands is very in love with the Empress here. But they are defensive because there is something stopping them. I don't know for some of you, maybe so, this something is something real, reality. And some for some others, this is a fear inside you. You stayed for a very long time. If this is you, holding back, dreaming about love, but not trying to live love. Now, I believe you took the decision 
that you want the six of pentacles and you are ready to work on the situation. You want to open up to this individual. I want to see the back of the deck here. Okay. Somebody independent. And I believe this is the Empress. Waiting. When this Empress was the Nine of Pentacles, they were waiting and waiting and hoping that this Seven of Wands is going to do something. You, as the Seven of Wands, again, if this is you, you were only dreaming about love, but not really wanting to live love because something was stopping you that something is real or in your head in your mind a fear inside you it's different between each and every one of you i don't know now because this nine of pentacles flipped and grown to be this empress this empress now is not about waiting anymore she know what they what she want and this empress took the decision that this waiting game has to stop because of that death is on top of this change now i not i am not going to accept this situation for longer than that than this it's either you talk or you leave with this ace of swords here and i believe this empress made herself very clear about it i want you to be in my life i am attracted to you maybe if this is a long story from a long time maybe i developed feelings towards you and i'm in love with you but this game i am not going to play this game anymore if you want, you have to be open and straightforward with me with this Ace of Swords or death is the crown of this situation. I will stop this game in my life. And I believe this seven of ones, they understood that. They felt the energy of death around them in this situation. Because of that, they took the decision that it's time to open up because this Seven of Wands doesn't want to lose their Empress. And these are the sleepless nights right now with this Nine of Swords. Because as I told you, if you will stay dreaming for a very long time, waking up to reality is scary. This dream is part of your life. Maybe if you will open up and you will not get what you want, you will lose a big part of your life. Let's see this card here. Two of Pentacles. This individual is pushing to take the decision to open up, but this is, it's not, it's not a decision yet. They're still juggling between yes or no. Again, not because there is lack of love here. But there is something stopping the Seven of Wands from doing what they want to do. This Seven of Wands took the decision that they, it's time to move only because this Empress stood her ground. So the story is about somebody enjoying the illusion till the moment that you give them that slap on their face to wake up uh, do you want this illusion a reality if you want to live this illusion live by yourself i'm out i believe this individual is not ready to lose the empress and they are not they don't want to they are terrified of opening up or starting coming out of their comfort zone but they are they are not they don't want to lose this empress they don't want that 
as I told you, based on the three cards that we saw in the beginning, this individual is deeply in love with this Empress. They have the King of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Knight of Cups, which is, it's all about love. It's all about love. This Empress is the Seven of Wands wish fulfillment. And I don't think they are ready to let her go. As you know, the outcome here is the outcome for like four or five weeks. Let's see in this period of time what maybe will happen. Wow. I believe this, um, this Seven of Wands will work on this situation to make it happen with this hermit in the middle. There is a committed relationship will start in here. This King of Cups is going to extend that Knight of Cups towards the Empress. I believe the, the first three cards were, were a short version of this reading. If this is your reading, congratulations. If you are the Seven of Wands or if you are the Empress, life is about to change positively. Congratulations, my dear. Wish you all the best. Well, thank you so much for being with me, my friends. I hope this was a helpful reading. Thanks again for all your love and support. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.